A registered Vancouver nurse who has now fully recovered from COVID-19 is warning the public not to take it lightly. Months after she battled the virus, another side effect is surfacing. CW Sinjin Alexander has the details. No masks. Eight weeks. That's how long it took Mahi Etmanon to fight COVID-19. Far worse than a bad cold and nothing like the flu, it felt like something was ripping her up from the inside. It feels absolutely unfamiliar. The pain is not localized in one area. It's just, it, it comes from inside and it goes through all your body. Now, several weeks after recovery, another side effect. Patches here, patches here. Her hair is falling out. I noticed that I have a lot of hair on the floor and uh, that was very new to me. When I would wash my hair, it would come in, in chunks. And then I started looking uh, in the mirror and I saw some, you know, spots that are that's thinning. She's not alone. Months after the first outbreak, more and more people who've recovered are reporting the same condition. That was kind of uh, scary because it was coming out in clumps. This is my hair loss. So my scalp was very irritated and uh, hot at all times. There are many theories. COVID-19 likely caused a shock to the system. Stress, for example, and nutrients that would normally keep hair healthy were needed to fight the virus. It's just another puzzle scientists are trying to solve about the virus. I put it this way, it's a very lonely disease. It's a disease that nobody can be near you. And there's still so much we don't know about it. In the words of a registered nurse, if you don't like wearing a mask, you'll really hate a ventilator. Sinjin Alexander, CTV News, Vancouver.